In today's meta, with dragons and dinosaurs running amok, I think it's about time we strike back with something even more degenerate. Altergeist. For the Altergeist monsters, I have three Multifaker, three Meliseek, three Marionetter, two Silquitus, and one Conquery. Marionetter sets any Altergeist trap card, except for personnel spoofing, directly from the deck. So, no ashing it. Meliseek can attack directly, and when it does battle damage, it sends something your opponent controls to the graveyard. I should probably mention that this does target, so it does not out Dragoon. But that's okay, we have other things that do out Dragoon. Plus, when it's sent from the field to the graveyard, it searches out an Altergeist monster from the deck. So it searches out Multifaker or Conquery if you already have Multifaker in the hand. Multifaker, I think we're all familiar. It summons itself when you activate a trap and summons another Altergeist monster from the deck. Usually Silquitas. Silquitas is basically a Kirin where it bounces another Altergeist card you control and something your opponent controls back to the hand. Conquery negates attacks and negates effects while it and the opponent's monster it targets are face up on the board. As for Altergeist traps, I have three protocol, two manifestations, and three personnel spoofings. Protocol makes it so that the activation and effects of Altergeist cards you control can't be negated. Also, you can send an Altergeist card you control to the graveyard to negate an opponent's monster effect, and if you do, destroy it. Manifestation is basically the deck's call of the haunted, except if you activate this first and you have Selquitus on the board, you can bounce this back to the hand and you still get your monster. Ain't that silly. Personnel spoofing shuffles either an Altergeist monster you control or in your hand back to the deck to add in another Altergeist monster. So you can shuffle back Marionetter and add in something like, I don't know, Multifaker, and then immediately summon it. And immediately summon Silquitus. And some other shenanigans you can get into with this card. For drawing and adding power, I have three. Pot of Extravagance, and three, Pot of Duality. You don't need your extra deck typically, and you typically don't special summon during your turn. You special summon during your opponent's turn. For hand traps, I have three Ash Blossoms, three Joel and Lockbirds, and three Infinite Impermanence. If you don't know already, Impermanence works really well in this deck, because if you activate it during your opponent's first turn, and you have Multifaker in hand, and you use it, you start your turn with two monsters already on the board. For the last five cards of the deck, I have three Crackdown and two Solemn Judgment. Crackdown takes your opponent's monster so that they can't use it, and Solemn Judgment negates a summon, a spell, or a trap. For the extra deck, I have three Link Rebo, three Salmon Great Al Mirage, three Hextia, Two Prime Banshee, two Kidalga, one Dragostopalia, and one Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. Link Karibo and Al Mirage are here to help Milliseek hit the graveyard and search out Multifaker. Hextia is a nice negate by tributing a Ultra Grace monster it points to. Sometimes you may go into Banshee, sometimes you may go into Kidalga, though it's not very likely. Dragostopalia is here for when you have to out Dragoon and you have a nice negate on the board as well. With Starving Venom, there's a pretty high chance that Dragon Link is running a bunch of dark monsters, including Savage Dragon, and this sort of outs them. And as a nice segue into the side deck, we have three Super Poly, one Metaverse, two Mystic Mine, three Dark Ruler No More, three Evenly Matched, and three DD Crow. Mystic Mine allows for some shenanigans with Melee Seek and Personnel Spoofing. Where you can just keep attacking your opponent directly, shuffle it back, add it back off of Spoofing, Normal Summon it, attack, shuffle it back, add it back. Personnel Spoofing, being able to shuffle back Melee Seek and add it back. Shuffle it back and add it back with Personnel Spoofing and do it again. In Metaverse, sure the trap, so that means 
Multifaker, Special Siliquitas. So for some test hands, we draw in two, Infinite Impermanence, Ash Blossom, Mary Netter, Pot of Extravagance, and Personnel Spoofing. Alrighty, so first things first, Main Phase, Pot of Extravagance, one, two, three, four, five, six. Banish those face down and draw two. Why do you forsake the <laughs> uh, Anywho, uh, we drew into another extravagance. That's fine though. What do we banish? Banish the Banshee, Link Rebo, Salomon Great, Salomon Great, Salomon Great, and Kidalga. All right. So, I mean, it doesn't 100% matter that we banished all three of these. We're fine. So, we normal summon Mary Nutter. And then use its effect to set protocol. And we set, 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 and pass turn. Standby phase. Activate spoofing. Shuffle this back. Add multi faker. Multi faker effect. Special. Special. If your opponent tries to do any Ash Blossom shenanigans, we just flip that up. And we now have a full board of disruption. Next hand, we have Pod Duality, Melusique, Protocol, Pod Duality. I was hoping that would be extravagant, but it wasn't. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, Pod Duality. So we reveal Mary Netter, Crackdown, and another Crackdown. So we're going to add in. The crackdown. So we we can normal summon the Melody Seek, but we can't go in Link Rebo. That's fine. We have three back rows, one of which is personnel spoofing. In which we go personnel spoofing, shuffle this back, add multi faker, special multi faker, special Silquitas directly from deck, and we have a crackdown so that we can take something our opponent controls. Ain't that lovely? Next hand we have manifestation. Solemn Judgment, Pot of Extravagance, Infinite Impermanence, and Solemn Judgment. Alright, so, Pot of Extravagance. One, two, three, four, five, six. Manage those. Draw into Pot of Duality, and Personnel Spoofing. Alright, so here's the cute part of this, about this hand. Pot of Duality, because this is not drawing a card. We reveal Drone Lockbird, Clone Query, and Pot of Reality. Alright, we're just gonna add it to Conquery. Now we set a bunch of cards and we pass turn. Uh, and then when our opponent attacks, we special Conquery. And then when that attack is negated, we use Personnel Spoofing, Shelf this back, add in the Multi Faker, special the Multi Faker, and special summon the Silquitas. And if our opponent tries anything, we have these to work with. And the Manifestation is just nice. So, what we can do actually. Just link these two off during my turn. If we still have it. We have one. We actually have two left. Uh, the Hexia. And then Manifestation. Special Summon. And then Multi Faker. Melody Seek. For the next hand, we draw in two. Manifestation. Melody Seek. Clone Query. Mary Netter. And Droll and Lockbird. So. We normal summon the Melly Seek. Link that off for Link Rebo. Effect. And Multi Faker. So now we set that and we pass turn. My opponent's turn. They try to attack. We tribute that off. And then we activate the Manifestation. Bring back Melody Seek. Activate Multi Faker. Special Silquitas. And by the way, Kun Query is not once per turn. So your opponent's attack at the end. We special that. And then we use Elquitas to bounce this back. They try to attack again. Clone Query again. Because that's fair. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. If you want to see more degenerate content just like this, subscribe to the channel. My name is Brent. I am Axel Weird. And I'll see you all next time. Peace. <laughs>